So we're going to talk about coupling alignment. So this is the coupling half that is attached to the output shaft of your transmission. This is the coupling half that is uh, on your propeller shaft. And these are the two halves that we have to put together in such a way that they're properly aligned so as not to put undue stress on the bearing in the transmission or uh, actually put a bend in the shaft that will work hard in the shaft and cause the shaft to break, as we described in our text. A couple of tools you're going to need, a feeler gauge and a uh, wrench that is the same size as the uh, bolts that are in the coupling half. First thing I mentioned that we need to do is check the engine mounts. Here is a, a good engine mount. There's a piece of plat, a piece of rubber, and there is a, a bond to this piece of rubber, two thin pieces of metal that you really can't see in this picture. Uh, the, those pieces of metal are used uh, to bolt into this half of the coupling, uh, or the mount, and also this half uh, to bolt to the engine. So this rubber pad that's in the middle, it's bonded to a couple pieces of metal. Uh, it keeps the shock loading, keeps the vibration out of your boat. You want to make sure that the uh, rubber is well bonded to the pieces of metal. Uh, if it's not, it's actually a pretty obvious, uh, a pretty, you can see it with your eye. Uh, it's pretty easy to tell that you have a problem. Those have to be checked first. I check those and then replace them. Uh, if necessary, uh, while the boat's still on land. This front engine mount uh, is actually uh, uh, older, but it's still in good condition, and it's been painted. And it's easier to see, just a second, it's, it's easier to see the two pieces of metal that the rubber's bonded to. Th these have, uh, uh, this particular piece of metal right here has a curve on it. Okay, so enough about engine mounts. The next thing we do is back here on the hub, we remove three of the four fasteners and loosen the fourth fastener so that the hub can spread apart if it needs to. Now I'm going to use the feeler gauge and I can't get the feeler gauge in at the top of this mount at all. I can't get it between these two flanges. But look here, I can get my feeler gauge in about halfway down I can get it in here and it's quite loose at the bottom which means that my, ang my the angle of my engine does not match the angle of the prop shaft. I either need to lower the front of my engine and close that gap at the bottom uh, to make it uh, the same as uh, to make it the fa two faces of the coupling half parallel or I could raise the back side of my engine to do the same thing. I have to make that choice about whether I raise uh, the back or lower the front by how close this prop shaft is to the inside of my shaft log. My prop shaft needs to stay approximately centered so that it's not touching anything in the shaft log. If you have any other questions about this procedure, feel free to call us at Woody's Restorations 270-343-5007 and we'll help step you through this all-important uh, project that you need to do on your boat once a year, once the boat's in the water. Thanks!